Well, welcome back, people of the internet. Um, so, the Tigra went for its MOT today. Now, I was going to check the brakes over, because uh, it's been standing a while, and sort them out. And I kind of wish I had it done, <laughs> because, um, yeah, it passed. So we're not going to cause any drama here. It did pass, um, but it scraped through by the skin of its teeth. Now, I've got some new parts on order to rectify the problem, so the brakes will be sorted. Um, but what's basically happened is, because it's been standing for a while, um, it looks like the calipers have seized up slightly, uh, probably one of the pistons, two of the pistons, I don't know. Um, so it's pulling a little on the front, so there's a bit of an imbalance on the front, and the back uh, also an imbalance there as well. Let me show you the, uh, the MOT certificate, and uh, can explain more about what I'm going to do, and what the problems were. So, as I said, it is uh, MOT'd. Uh, my friend Dean at Chapel Motors um, also does a great job and uh, yeah does a fair MOT and it will not pass if anything's wrong and so he said you yeah, know body wise everything's pretty good everything seems fine on it um, but because it's been standing a while the brakes um, he had to put down as advisories um, now it says at the top there let me, oh, let's just get myself in a better position so Top line there is playing the steering rack in the joint. Now it's had that on the last couple of MOTs as well, so I might have a look at that. Uh, but it's not serious, it's just a little bit of play. He did show me. It's really nothing. Uh, both brake discs worn or scored, not seriously weakened uh, on the front and rear. I knew they were pitted, I knew they were slightly rusty. Uh, I hoped going to the MOT station it would burn some of that rust off. Um, it did, but not enough. Um, front brake pads wearing thin, rear brake pads wearing thin. Uh, again, got some brake pads to replace those. Uh, I would have done it anyway. I really just didn't get time over the weekend to do it before the MOT. Uh, that's obviously caused the brake imbalance. And there was a couple of um, pipes as well that were covered in grease, uh, slightly corroded. Not seriously, but slightly corroded. Um, and I think, again, that was featured on the last MOT. Uh, one of the, uh, the offside front coil spring as well is uh, corroded. Uh, it's not broken, it's just corroded, so something to keep an eye on. Uh, but it's passed, it's got uh, a 12 month bill of health. Um, as I said, Dean is the guy there, Dean Buxton. Um, he said underneath and rock wise, it's absolutely perfect. Um, it's, as I've said myself, it's been well looked after over the years. Um, so uh, rust wise i mean it's nothing wrong with it the seals are great everything is rock solid um it's just obviously because it's been standing we've got these issues with the brakes now so the next video will be me ripping the brakes apart stay tuned and enjoy